All right, this is the Fantasy Sports Boss. The Denver Broncos continued their recent hot streak, upending a just as hot Minnesota Vikings squad 21 to 20 yesterday uh, to uh, really put themselves squarely now into the playoff picture. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss with a uh, excuse me Sunday night wrap up. Um, and later on today, there will be a live stream to go over all of the action uh, from Sunday, which we didn't do last night. So I'll make sure um, I get on there later and you guys can join me and we can discuss all of the happenings from yesterday. It was really... Um, Running back hell, as I already discussed in one of the videos, you know, Aaron Jones, Kenneth Walker, Dante Foreman, just like the running back injuries, which is nonstop yesterday. And it's really going to throw a wrench into a lot of the plans going forward. But the Denver Broncos, uh, once again, got it done. And this revitalized defense is legit. So they really cooled down Josh Dobbs, who was 20 of 32, one interception, 221 yards. He also lost a fumble. Um, he did throw a touchdown pass, uh, one touchdown pass in the game. And uh, as far as uh, running the football, 21 yards on the ground. So, you know, it wasn't a great Dobbs outing, but, you know, he still moved the football uh, fairly decently. The biggest thing to take away from this one is the work of Ty Chandler. So Alexander Madison got 18 carries for 81 yards. Not bad for him, but Ty Chandler, 10 for 73. He was the more explosive back. Um, you know, he, he also was involved in a passing game, four catches for 37 yards. So Chandler looked explosive. And if they're going to split the carries between the two of them, Chandler looks like he might have more uh, PPR juice than Alexander Madison, who we've been, you know, um, waiting on all season to, to do something uh, consistently. As far as the Broncos, Russell Wilson, 27-35, 259, and a touchdown pass to Cortland Sutton. So he was on point the entire game. Wilson is having a good season. He's maybe not the Seattle guy anymore, but he's having a good season, no doubt. In super flex leagues, he has value. Uh, as as far as um, the passing game is concerned for Denver, um, so my JP run led the way 7 for 60. Uh, Jerry Judy, 5 for 58. Cortland Sutton, 4 for 66 and a touchdown. So he's still getting it done. I believe that was his eighth touchdown catch of the year. And Sutton is not a guy um, that's going to get a lot of separation. He's a contested ball receiver. So the ceiling is never going to be too high, but he constantly scores touchdowns. And that's a big boost in standard leagues and even keeps him as a strong wide receiver three, uh, low end two in PPR leagues. Um Rough game uh, for TJ Hawkinson, four for 55, really wasn't involved. And now you have to wonder with Justin Jefferson coming back next week, what is his workload going to look like? Um, Javante Williams, it was a no-show outing for him, um, 11 for 37 on the ground. And I don't even know if he caught a pass in this one, two catches for 16 yards. So um, is he hitting the wall a little bit? Could be, and he's missed a lot of time with that uh, knee injury, so he could be hitting the wall there. But again, Justin Jefferson coming back next week, and it's frustrating because the following week they have a bye um, but at least he's going to be returning soon. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button. More videos on you on the way soon, so stay tuned.